Panic, 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 panic. Oh, the panic is great. Stress level high. Oh my god, stress level high, stress level high. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that was uh, a lot more shallow than I thought. Okay, let's hope you won't. We'll have to go this way. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Valheim. In today's episode, our main objective is to make the mighty Viking vessel so it's easier for us to transport resources and also when we need to explore. But I also want to increase the quality of our food, which will allow us to increase our stamina and health gain. So we'll be making the cauldron here. Now we can actually see what's happening, which requires 10 tin, but I know we have enough of it. So let's see how the smelter and the kiln is doing. And we also need to farm a bit of wood since the ship requires fine wood. And since we also have the bronze axe now, that's now possible. So we can actually get all those lovely trees that are nearby our base. So let's start with the co 24. There should be more than enough. Just fill them up right here. And then we need... Oh, there it is. I need to do something about the lawn here. Tin copper. I think we need more copper compared to the amount of tin that we have. So let's start with that. And we also need to fill up our kiln here. So we can get more coal. We do have a lot of it right now, but suddenly this just gone. So we might as well keep up with it. All right, tin tin. So we can actually make the cauldron already. And looks like we have a storm. So now it's also a very good opportunity for us to look for fish that are beached. Because when we unlock the cauldron, we'll be able to make a new kind of food made out of fish meat. Which will, in, will definitely be better than the boar meat. So maybe we should just take a stroll around the beach here. And see if we can find anything. One star deer. We have so much food, we don't really need the, the deer right now. But we will in the future. But... Thankfully, there's a lot of it around us, so it's okay. Guys, I don't want to kill you. But you forced my hand. There we go. Thankfully, they are quite easy. Don't need to spend too much time on them. Now, it is not guaranteed that the fish will land on the beach. But you never know. Sometimes you are lucky. And most of the time, you are not. We will be able to eventually fish for our fish meat. But right now, we haven't even seen the vendor. Actually, we want these boars. We haven't seen the vendor yet, so we won't be able to get a fishing rod before that actually happens. And we will find the vendor out in the Black Forest, but which Black Forest, I don't know. It is random after all. Oh well, we haven't found any fish so far, which is okay. I mean, it's not like they're going anywhere, so if they're beached, we will be able to find them once we are exploring a little bit more of the shore. There we go, get away. So we'll just farm a few bird trees here to unlock the fine wood and the recipes that goes along with them. And hopefully we'll be able to make the ship and also the fine wood bow. Because that is going to be very important later on. Or at least it's going to make everything much easier. Instead of the crude bow. Fine wood bow has now been unlocked. So has the stool, which is good. And a few upgrades. The portals, very important. And the new ship. Which is the one we want to build, so this is great. Okay, no, you are not going into the water, my friend. Kind of want to need you up here. I kind of want to try and fight the next Forsaken boss of Valheim with melee weapons. Because it is doable, 100%. But in my perma challenge, I didn't want to risk getting one shot. But hey... Now we have the opportunity to do crazy stuff, so if you have any ideas, please comment down below. I am more than happy to try some of them out. We have already done a few. Wait, are we already done this? Okay, so in one of your comments, you mentioned that you can use properly use boar trophies for fishing and all that stuff. But I actually found out that you can use a catapult or the ballista, whatever it's called mount a boar trophy to it and it will only focus on killing boars so maybe that also works on other trophies like say a deer trophy that it will only shoot towards deers so you have a little bit of a farming bot for you but who knows but for now we we'll just leave the boar trophy here because we don't really need it yeah they look done let's just grab everything here 
Oh, definitely don't want to use the fine wood for this. That would be awkward. Throw the remaining wood in here. And we will take... Is it 25 or 20? I think it's... Two, oh, 20. As long as we have enough, right? Okay, let's see. How much do we actually have? So we have 26 copper bars. We have 20 tin and 5 bronze. And we need the tin. Tin. So we can make the cauldron. And I actually also need a few pieces of wood and stone for a campfire. Let's just take 15 so we have enough. Remove the hide. We don't really need that. And I think... Where was it? Let's make it here. Oh yeah. We, oh, we need the guarding too. We need to raise the ground as well. So much to do. Okay, I think this should be fine. And... Then we'll make the campfire. And then we'll place the cauldron. But we need to have the forge within reach. So we actually have to do it from this distance. Which is not ideal. I mean, I could move the forge. But I'm just too lazy right now. There we go. That was fine. What did we unlock? Queen's jam. Some meat. This is very good. Which also reminds me. We need to make fermenters. So we need a lot more fine wood. We need a lot more bronze. Because we'll be placing the fermenters here. And with the fermenters, we'll make potions or meat. Healing meat, stamina meat, resistance meat. All the good stuff. That'll keep us alive in tough situations that we undoubtedly has put ourselves into. So we need blueberries, we need raspberries for the Queen's Jam. Which is 40 stamina and 14 health. And our current stamina food is 35 stamina and 8 health. So a small boost, but a boost nonetheless. But we can wait for that for now. So now that we have the cauldron, we will see how much it actually requires to make the fine wood bow. Because with my aim, I need all the help that I need. <laughs> I can get even. Let's see here. Fine wood, fine wood, fine wood. There it is. Fine wood bow, 10 fine wood, 10 core wood and deer hide. And we left the wood outside because we didn't want to use it for the kiln. 20 of it should be enough. But do we have enough core wood? That I'm... Oh! Definitely have enough. And I guess it was 10, but I'm not sure, so... We're gonna take more than enough for it. Oh! Deer hide! Deer hide! We need deer hide! Fine wood bow. Awesome! So... A rank 1 fine wood bow versus a rank 2 crook bow. Let's see here. 32 pierce. 25 pierce. And this durability is 100. And this one is also 100. Same stats all round. Block force. I mean, yeah, makes sense. So overall, just a better bow. Okay, I know the waves are high, so our boat is probably going to take a little bit of punishment. But, uh, let's see. That's the rudder. Might as well place it so it's easy to leave the shore, right? Oh, but yeah. Now we have the boat, which is going to be awesome, because now we can actually farm our resources closer towards the shore. And I think we have, what, four? Is it four rooms? Yeah, so we can actually fill up four stacks of co uh, copper ore or tin ore, whatever we need, from the Black Forest. And instead of having to use the carts, which will, to its defense, hold up a lot more uh, resources, but it's also far easier to get the boat back and forth compared to the cart and even though I mean if we can farm stuff over here I'm guessing the cart is just as easy because let's be honest it was more flat than anything so not that hilly and I could just run back and forth without any problems so sometimes we will be using the cart especially for wood farming but we'll see what the future holds so let's look at what we have so far after we have repaired thing here okay we have the boat we have our carts we have the cauldron we have our fi fine wood bow and of course the bronze axe which made everything possible so I'm guessing right now what we have to do is to keep focusing on getting more bronze so we can make the, the cultivator bronze mace we also want to build the fermenter. We actually want to craft a few of these. So we can make our... What is it? 
yeah, health meat. I kind of want to say potions, but that's not what it's called in Valheim. Yeah, our poison resistance meat, stamina meat, queen's gem, and other goodies that we will unlock over time. And yeah, also we can upgrade stuff now. So we also need the bronze to upgrade our forge and our crafting workbench, crafting table, whatever you want to call it. And hopefully we'll find a few more beehives so we can make our own beehives. And of course we need to upgrade our defenses. We need a little few walls. We need yeah, easier access to the sea so we can... I'm thinking of making a small harbor for our ships. I know with the waves we have around here, they'll get taken by the sea, but they won't lose more health points than 50%, so it'll work out. It won't look as pretty, but it'll work out. Much of the stuff I'm making anyway is not pretty, so... <laughs> Does it really matter? Okay, so we have so much fine wood. Isn't there something we can actually make that'll increase anything? There is indeed. So, let's take... I mean, we have a stack here. Let's do that. And also, we need to remove the copper bars from our inventory because... Damn, the weight. We can make a table. We can make chairs. Which will increase our... Let's see, where should we place it? It should be in the range. So, let's just, for now, place it here. We can always change it. And put a small table here. There we go. And I kind of feel like... Let's see, where was it? The item stand. That's not the one I want. We need one bronze nails. Let's take one. I'm guessing we needed wood as well. Or fine wood. Because like I said... Let's see where we can put it. There. Then we'll go in for the trophy that we have acquired from killing Ike for twice. There we go! It'll probably look better here, but... It is what it is. Let's not, uh... Let's not focus on the past. Let's see how much we can actually make. Let's just convert all that we have... ...into bronze. And I'm thinking we can definitely make the cultivator... Or a fermenter. We want the fermenter to start working as fast as possible because I think it's between two and three in game days. It takes for it to craft anything. 24, yeah, let's go. Fermenter, fermenter. Oh, we can craft the sitting log as well, but it doesn't matter now. At least not for now. Oh no. Okay. to make it here yeah this looks fine now that we have the fermenter we must choose whatever we want some stamina meat or healing meat i don't think we have enough blueberries it requires five blueberries but we have enough five ten and i know we need one flower do we even have one dandelion we have three so that is enough for now, but we definitely need to farm a little bit more. Minor healing, then we craft the minor healing meat base. And we dump it here. And now it's fermenting and all we have to do, like the smelter, we have to wait for it to be done. And it'll dump it down here and boom, we have healing meat. I was about to say potion. And we'll just place this outside because again, it's a lock. We don't really need a lock inside our house and it'll add some aesthetic to the outside which is not really worth talking about right now but we will fix that i like making a little bit of work outside so it looks neat but not for now okay wait. let's see here we have upgraded to four so we can actually upgrade our troll height more than we could before we can also upgrade the stack breaker but most importantly we can upgrade the knife which we'll probably do, because it's gonna take a little bit of time before we get the other knife. So let's just take all of this, what we have here, wood, the remaining deer hides, the scrap leather. There we go. Now we should do something, right? If you don't know the requirement, just take everything. Let's upgrade the flint knife. Oh, I forgot to 
look at the difference. Oh well, it is what it is. And we will make the cloak so we are not upgrading the troll hide. The club, I'm thinking we'll upgrade the bow instead. Let's get the core wood. Ten core wood. So yeah, we definitely need all kinds of wood right now for us to continue our progression. Upgrade the fine wood bow. Good, and we can upgrade it again. We just need everything. <laughs> It'll take some time. Do we have everything? Yeah, this is good enough. Let us continue our, on our quest. And the wind is surprisingly not against us. I, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. They, it's always against us. It's a little bit more narrow than I remembered. And a funny thing is that I feel more comfortable sailing the bigger ship than this one. Maybe it's because I've been sailing with the long ship longer than this one, but yeah, it's... Oh, can we get a boat kill? Can we get a boat kill? No. He knows better. Lucky him. Now, I know there is a rock here nearby that should be very annoying for our little boat here. So we don't want to do a Titanic. But when it comes, I can't really remember. It should be above the water, so... It should be easy to see, even with this fog. I think I can see it in the distance. But yeah, this is so great, because... Now that we're out sailing, farming a little bit, exploring... The fermenter, the crops, the smelter and the kiln is just working. While we are gone. Which is good. We don't have to really wait for it. Because this also has to be done anyway. So why not make everything work at the same time? Right, we'll just place the boat here. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Hello, dear. So what did I actually... Okay, it says tin ore. Because apparently there should be a lot of tin here, right? But we were here before, so... Yeah, we have probably already scavenged the entire area. We may have been lucky with the bird tree spawning around our base, but we are definitely not lucky with the tin spawns, because this is the longest shoreline that I have ever ran across without meeting any tin ore while in the black forest. What was that? Oh, for a second I thought it was troll, but that can't be, right? Hey dears, don't need you guys right now. Ooh, we need some tin, but we'll have to be careful because where there are buried chambers, there are skeletons. And where there are skeletons, there are usually trouble. And where there are ranged skeletons, there are usually pain. Okay, he starts to shoot. I'll jump him. Die. Let's get the tin once we are out from the dungeon. Burial chamber. So same tactic as before. We are going to make sure that we are not getting attacked from behind. This one is opened. This one is open. We are not going through there because at least we know that spot is safe for now. Is everything open here? Have we been in here? We've actually been in here. Okay. This is not... Why have we left it? Why have we not crossed it out? Has... Has this been a dungeon where... Okay, I am curious. Why have I done this? I don't remember being in here. But I guess we have. I know there was a dungeon where we were like, okay, I mean, we have the certain course that we need. So we don't have to... Nope. Okay, 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 okay. I also just realized that our food buffs are running out. So let's just, uh... Well, it's a good thing we upgraded this bad boy. Oh. God, you, you came from nowhere. But yeah, it's a good thing we upgraded this bad boy. So it's going to be easier to destroy everything. I guess we couldn't push through here. Certainly in course. Thank you. And also, we get a bunch of treasure. Vikings love treasure. We definitely don't like cones, but we do like gold. So what's the price for a portal? I'm guessing it's two shuttling cores. It is indeed two shuttling cores. 
And I can hear movement of skeletons. So we are definitely not done. Oh hey ghost, and I see you right there. Hi thing. That's the proof of 42. That was a good hit. Okay, I think he's dead. Hey ghost. Okay. I mean, let's test it. Fire? Is it good against ghosts? I don't think so. I mean, wait, how can a ghost burn? And how did I miss it in here? <laughs> okay, keep keep standing there. Just do I need another arrow? No, I don't. Fire arrows never leave home without them. Three circling cores. Lots of skeleton remains. Or bone remains or whatever we want to call them. Bone fragments. Gold, gold, just in case we meet. A wealthy trader. So yeah, I'm guessing this is why we didn't cross it out earlier. We have been in here, but we haven't explored everything. Because it was just too dang dangerous to continue. Oh well, back to farming. Oh! He wasn't there before! Oh god. Okay, okay. Um, let's see here. Change to fire arrow. Should we go after him? Oh man, he has the lock as well. This is... A little bit unfortunate. I don't like the area we are fighting. There's so many hills and I... Mm, yeah, you know what? Let's go back to the ship. Can we go back to the ship? Okay, he didn't see us. That's good. Yeah, we'll definitely go back to the ship and then we'll unload all of this just in case we die if we choose to fight the troll and... Oh god, there's another troll! What? What is going on? I... I wasn't that long in the dungeon. Did they just spawn or did I just miss them? I know for a fact when we were running I did hear some growling or whatever you want to call it, but... I didn't actually see anyone. Was that that guy? Oh my god. Okay, eat what we can. Can't yet. Okay, I... We have the... Oh, the, the ship is on the other side of that guy. I mean, we do have the Ike for buff. Is this destiny? Um, should we fight him? I mean, we can upgrade our gear. Definitely. Hmm. Grab a few. Let's grab a few of these. And I'm guessing we'll... Okay, let's go up here first. Wait, move! You dumb deer. And we can actually fight here. This is a good spot. This is also copper. Oh, we have been here before. Of course we have. Right, let's... We have the fire arrows. Should we fight him? I mean, why not? There are so many trolls here, apparently. He dodged? No, I did hit him. That was kind of kind of weird. And I think this is where we fought another troll, right? Yeah, I remember this. It was someone that threw stones here as well, and... We just did this, right? He couldn't go down here because he... Oh, apparently he can. Okay. I just need to be able to hit. And then we went up here, right? Yeah, and then we will do the dance over and over again. Come on, troll. I don't care. Okay, good, good. Don't get hit by the rock. I have no idea how much damage the rock will do to us. But I do feel like it's his special ability. Oh, damn it. No stamina, no stamina. Can we go up here before it's too late? Yeah, we can. Of course, the small ones are going to interrupt us. Because they're a little bit... What would we call it? The fun police? 100%. Okay, we have to go on this side. So he likes to move over here. And these guys just die. Nope. And we need enough stamina to get on top here as well. Okay, we'll do it again. He needs what? Three more arrows. The fire will do most of the damage. If we let it... Oh, don't... Don't block him! Okay, 
This is very annoying. Come down. Basilian to go. I mean, it's only 34, uh, 38 damage to the stones, so I don't know. Okay, one troll down. And what about you, mister? How do you want to die? Do you want to die heroically or just dive to my awesomeness? Uh, never mind. Kill off this dude. We just drop this in here. The troll hide is quite heavy. The circling course, we don't want to lose those. Let's just keep them here as well, just in case we die. And everything else is... I mean, we don't need the rock. We don't really need the woods. We don't need the resin. We do want to keep the fizzle and the blueberries. And we kind of want to keep everything else. So let's keep it for now. Oh, I didn't jump far enough. I got the wet buff. Oh, well. Let's see if we can find a bit more tin without aggroing the troll. There should be more tin, right? It can't be true that we don't have any tin nearby. You know what? Let's aggro the troll. We have the ship, why not use it? I mean, come on. We'll just stay close to it and shoot it from afar. Hopefully we, it won't die too deep out in the water. Otherwise we won't be able to... Oh, loot it. Now the troll should be around here somewhere, right? We found it right outside of the burial chamber. So the fact that I can't see him yet is a little bit unsettling just to and yeah deers do like the water okay where is the troll has he moved i don't like that don't like that at all oh never mind he he just spawned right in front of us let's move the boats over here and we do have the wind with us somewhat so we can move away from him because he's going to be fast as long as he can reach the button that is Let's eat up. Not sure we need it, but uh, I mean, it gives stamina, so yeah. Fire! Oh! You're just gonna take it. Are you really that daisy? Says I on a boat shooting towards the troll. Okay, well, I, I can. I can deal with this. This is good. I mean, we'll take all the wins we can, right? It's... It's not my fault he doesn't want to attack me. So the question is, how much does he need? Has he even taken any damage? Because I... I don't know. He doesn't really... Re when a mob doesn't react to being attacked, I have a feeling that... They don't really get damaged. Can we hit him? Oh, well, I mean, if he's standing still, we can definitely hit him. Come on, big boy. Okay, he's definitely... Okay. Panic, 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 panic. Oh, the panic is great. Stress level high. Oh my god, stress level high, stress level high. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that was uh, a lot more shallow than I thought. Okay, let's hope he won't. We'll have to go this way so he don't get to... Look, uh, he, oh, sh oh my god, we need to get some distance. He... Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, he died! Oh, he died! Either that or he is going to perform some kind of amazing dive. But this is what I feared, because now he's probably too far out for us to collect the hide. But in any case, he's gone now, which means we can, we can farm in relative peace. Okay, let's see here. He died over here. Everything should have been sunk to the bottom. I can see it. And with the waves here, it's not going to get any easier. Jump again. Directly down. Yes. Can I actually get this one? No. Oh, this is... Oh, swimming in the uh, storm is not good. Why does Valheim always have to make everything so complicated? Okay, I see it. I see it. Oh. It's actually a good opportunity because now... We have all five... Heights, just waiting for the waves to get lowered. Ooh, come, there we go. 
And I guess we'll just move towards the shore. I don't see any enemies nearby, so I guess we are clear to go. Get some tin here. We'll just get one stack of tin. And then we'll get copper for the rest. Which should be easy, because around here I see a lot of tin. There we go. Let's see what's the situation. I don't even know. And we're gonna remove the stone, the raisin, or resin, or whatever. Don't really need that. Now we are farming during nighttime, I think, because of the storm. I'm not really sure, but that means every time we are hitting this baby, we are going to attract unwanted guests. So I'm guessing it's a good thing we actually killed the troll, because he would eventually hear us, I think. And hunt us down. So yeah, it's... This is a small safe haven for now, at least for the big guys. And we will probably have to craft... I mean, we will have to build a repair station. So let's just collect a little bit of wood. And then we will build the station near the actual excavation point. Since we have two copper nodes next to each other. There will be a little bit of running back and forth to the ship I see, but it's okay. If that's... If that's the problems that we are facing right now, then I will definitely take that. Done and done. Alright, let's start working with the copper. After we have deal with this guy. Oh, I didn't even see him. Oh my god. Clever girl. Two shamans, of course there are two shamans. But at least the, the rain has stopped. But we don't really have anything against the shaman except for the... Whoa! The fire arrows. Heal yourself, huh? Okay, let's see if we can... Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Kill him, kill him before. Yes, nice, good. One down. One down. Careful with the stamina. We don't have too much of it. I mean, we could use the Eichfer. Actually, I'm going to use Eichfer. Oh my god. Eat. No, nothing can be up, up. Careful, careful, careful. Let's make this guy use his... Yeah, there we go. We'll do this. He's going to heal, or at least try. He's going to succeed, because I can't hit, can't hit him. I can't see anything. Good, good, he's gone now. Now we just need to work with these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you're so cool. And uh, let me guess, another army is showing up, no? Okay. Dodge that guy. Actually, they've all been shooting now. Good. Assassinate this guy, he thinks he's safe. No one is safe! And this guy, you've been bullying me for quite a while now. Come on. Don't don't you wanna attack me? Oh, you need you wanted me to attack this time. Oh, nope. Not gonna work on me. I really hope that we can be done farming copper in this area uh, before it turns nighttime. Don't want to spend the entire night fighting again. I mean, of course, it's daytime. We will still be, be attacked because we're producing a lot of noise, but... It's so much worse when it's nighttime. And the fact that we are doing this near spawn as well is not making it easier. Which is probably why we got attacked by so many. So, we managed to fill out the ship's hall before nighttime came came along but we are it's almost nighttime and i think it's a good thing that we are sailing home now because this lake here this river or whatever we want to call it 
is filled with stones, rocks and all kinds of unpleasant things we don't want to sail into. But what I fear the most is if there's been any trolls spawning here because they'll just be able to walk right down to us and destroy the ship. Imagine if we could customize the sails of our ships. That'd be nice, give it a little personal touch. But I guess that won't happen. The ships, this, the ship things have been out for a long time and... That's probably not the first thing on their to-do list. Anyway, home sweet home. Okay, I really have to do something about that log. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the ship survived. This is good enough. Oh yes, now this is much better. We can at least get 30 bronze out of all of this, which is good because then we can get the bronze maze and other stuff that we want to craft later on. Also increasing our rested buff by adding more furniture and stuff. And I think this was it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm thinking we are going to set sail towards the open ocean in order to find some krakens or maybe even a sea serpent. Who knows? So we can make the harpoon and we can also make the improved knife that I really want to test out on a troll. So thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you again in the next episode.